Hello everyone and welcome back to another Dream Tour video and today I'm in Hancock Park to give you guys a tour of the La Brea Tar Pits. Come join me. Right in the heart of Los Angeles is the gateway to the Ice Age. The La Brea Tar Pits is the only active urban fossil dig in the entire world, with plants and animals from the last 50,000 years discovered here every day. Let's take a look at the La Brea Tar Pits and see if it's worth your visit. Parking at the La Brea Tar Pits is $15. There's plenty of street parking available, just make sure you check the signs first. The Tar Pits are spread out in a park-like setting. It's open to the public, so you're free to roam around or just hang out. I chose to join the excavation guided tour. This tour guide takes you to all the active dig sites, giving you an inside detailed look, and the cost of the tour is included in your ticket price. Pit 91 was discovered and started excavating in 1915, well over 100 years later, and it's still producing fossils to this day. Project 23, where a staff of scientists and volunteers work on excavations right in front of you, and they discover fossils on a daily basis. Our tour guide was amazing. He came prepared with tons of props and was extremely interactive. You learn by asking questions and I had tons of them. The tour continues inside the museum. Admission is $15 for adults, kids is seven. If you're an LA resident, on weekdays, it's free after 3 p.m. Getting an inside look at the Fossil Lab's daily discoveries, for me, is worth the admission. This is harder than it looks.
There's multiple interactive areas spread across the museum for the kids. If you have time and you want to watch a movie, this is Titans of the Ice Age in 3D. Tickets are $6. They have a small outdoor area with overhead shade and tons of trees. It was a hot day, so this was great. This is also where I decided to have lunch at. I recommend you bring your own food and snacks for yourself and the kids because there's no restaurants or snack stands anywhere on this property. They do have a vending machine located outside the museum with typical chips and candy. They also have picnic tables next to the machines, but it's not shaded. When I came here as a kid on our field trips, this is where we ate. They have a gift shop with items that range from simple toys to expensive souvenirs. If you're looking for a bigger museum, check out this museum's sister, the LA Natural History Museum. I'll leave that video right here so you can check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.